Today, we are going to present the operation of our product named Micro 10A. First of all, about how to download app from your cell phone. Let's click Google Play and enter the data of Nanko Battery Tester. Let's choose the first option. And we can see the detailed introduction of our app. And then we click the install button. OK, we can see that our app has been downloaded. The second step, we need to collect our product to the battery of our car. As you can see, we should collect the red knob to the positive side and the black one to the negative side and the red light is on. The third step, we should open the app Nanko Battery Tester. Before that, we need to open the function of the Bluetooth and the GPS location. After that, we can click the first option, select Bluetooth, and we can see the name of it. Let's click Confirm button. Okay, we can start our test now. We can see from the screen that there are five functions of our item. First, let's start the battery testing. You can choose the battery tab together with rating system according to your car battery. Here, we choose the regular flooded and the CC option. Our battery shows that the data is 550, so we tap the number in and start test. Okay. We have got the result of our battery status, and we can see that it shows the battery is aging, and we may need to replace it. Let's back to the main menu and continue to test the cracking system. Let's click the second button. Please turn off all electrical equipment and start the car, and then press OK to continue. And here we can see from the screen that the cracking system is good and some graphs showing. So we back to the main menu and start the third test, charging test. Please step on the accelerator, increase speed to 2500 and hold for 5 seconds. Then press OK. And we have got the result showing the charging voltage is normal. Then we click the last button, battery monitor, to test the voltage of our battery. OK, here we can see from the screen that there are two functions of this test, showing historical record and real-time voltage. Here we should pay more attention about the sample time in the middle of the screen. We need to set it at least 30 minutes to monitor, and we suggest you to set it as 24 hours to prevent the app from smashing. That's all of our presentation.